Vacation coming soon, won't be long before we split the seas again And we all go back home, stay strong, keep enduring Yasha Allah, Hamashiach, could we follow every minute, second hour Giving praises to the Father, there's a spirit deep inside of you Every day is guiding you, bringing all things to remembrance um, Talking about God, right? Yeah, brother. What's, what's, what's your nationality? Uh, mixed white and Hispanic. What's your, what's your father? He's Mexican. So called Mexican. How long have your people been getting called Mexican? Forever. Forever? Yes. No, they haven't been getting called Mexican. Your people are the children of Israel. God's chosen people according to the Bible. You're the true Israelites. You're the true chosen people of the Bible. Alright? Did you know that? Never been heard of it. Give me Deuteronomy 28th chapter. All right, first question. Yeah. I think about Ask your question, question first, then I will go into it. So what? Uh, so we were talking about it before. All right. So is that your brother? No, my friend. Okay. But um, we need. All right. So there, there's like many gods for every religion, and every single or every single religion says like, or here are. Our people say, but our God's the right God, like the true God. But I'm pretty sure they say that too. All right. Other There's a bunch so, of false gods. There's only one God that's in the Bible. But how, right. do, you, how do we know that's that? Because he's the God of the same people. The God of this Bible. Is, give me Luke 1 and 68. He's not the God of everyone. What you've heard in church, everything you've been told is a lie. The God of the Bible is the God of the Israelites. All right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man and woman. They're the true Israelites of the Bible. All right. Based on biblical prophecy. All right, get Luke 1 and 68. All this right, is. this is Luke 1 and 68, right? It says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Right, so he's the God of Israel, right? Give me Joel 2 and 27, my bad. So Joel. he's the God of Israel, Joel 2 and 27. Joel, oh, Joel 2 and 27. So he's the God of Israel. He's not the God of everyone. He's only the God of the Israelites. All yeah, right. What you've been told in church is a lie. God does God is not, this God does not deal with everyone. He's dealing with his people. And you've been born to be his people, right? All right. Not listen to this. this is Joel 2 and 27, right? It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Right, he's in the midst of the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true God's chosen people, the same people that walked through the Red Sea with Moses, right? These people, right, can you read? It says, and that I am the Lord your God. Right, and he's the Lord our God, right, can you read? And none else. And what? And none else. So God was the God of everyone. What does it say? And my people shall never be ashamed. And our people shall never be ashamed because your, your, your tribe, your biblical tribe, you say your father is so-called Mexican, you'll be from the tribe of Issachar. All right? Your people are God's chosen people. All right? We're the same people. Did you know that? Yeah. Did you know that, bro? A lot of people don't know that. We're the same people. They just named us different races. But the Bible says we're going to be destroyed. For, give me Hosea 4 and 6. See, Mexican is not in the Bible. You won't find Mexican, you won't find African American, you won't find white, black, none of those things in the Bible. It's all about the Israelites, God's chosen people. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Alright. Got it. Hosea 4 and 6. Old oh, Testament. You chill. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be like, oh, yeah, that's the one. Huh? Hosea 4 and 6. Oh, it was right there. Alright, Hosea, Hosea 4 and 6. 6. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Alright, bring it up. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. All right. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we come from. Alright. Your people didn't come from Mexico. Alright. <laughs> Your people would come from the Israel. Alright. They were they were put in slavery in, in, in America and in, in South America. Did you know that? Did you know your people went into slavery? No. You didn't know your people went into slavery? I think so. How you think I learned the, the language from uh, Spanish? The Spanish language? The Spanish conquistadors. They're the ones who knew Spanish. Your people didn't know Spanish. Your people spoke Hebrew. All right? Your people were taught Spanish by the people you were conquered by. Your, your people, people destroyed you. Your people spoke Paleo Hebrew. Right. The, the, the language of the Bible. That's the real, real Bible. Right. Yeah. Finish it up. This was translated from the Hebrew. Right. right. Bring it up. All right. I'm going to start all over. Right. Uh, Hosea. Uh, chapter 4 uh, Verse 6 Bring it up. Says my people are destroyed For a lack of knowledge Right so our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge Right can you read 
It says, because thou has rejected knowledge, right. I will also reject thee. So you don't want to be one of those people rejecting this knowledge, because this is the truth. You might not ever hear the truth ever again. You might not ever hear the truth of who you are ever again. All right, so get, um, uh, give me, um, Deuteronomy 28 15. You might see all the thing that y'all said is the truth. I'm going to show you. All right, I'm going to show you the truth. Hold on one second, brother. All right, listen to this. This is the history of people, biblical. All right, before, before what do you, let me ask you a question. What do you learn about your people in school? Uh, nothing. Nothing? You don't learn nothing about your people in school. He gonna tell you. I mean, not you know? my people, I don't know. Where you from? Yeah. He's your people. He's our people. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Last Spanish well. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, uh, what, what have you heard, what'd you learn about your people in school? What'd they give you? What was the brief breakdown on where you came from? They, they don't tell you anything. It's the reason why. Because they don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know who you really are. They don't want you to know you got uh, royalty blood. It's the government. Right. It's the government, right? Yeah. You, listen to this, brother. This is your history all right, of your people. Um, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. These are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out their own land in the time of Osea the king, who Salmazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. And he carried them over the waters so they came into another land. But they took so like, but they took this counsel amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So where is this further country where never mankind dwelt? Because your people conspired together and they said we're going to leave this land and we're going to go to a place where never mankind dwelt. You ever looked at a Native American? Yeah, you ever seen y'all might look a little bit alike? Right, it's because you're the same people. All right, your people were the first people in this land, so-called America. All right, they got taken from your people and destroyed. All right, and, and, and now they call it America, and they, and they say America is great, and this is a, a great place when it's built all over the bloodshed of your people and the slavery of more of your people. All right, so listen to this: um, that they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river, for the Most High then showed signs for them, and held still the flood till they passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half, and the same region is called Azra, right? Then dwelt uh, there unto a latter time, and now when they shall begin to come, the highest shall, uh, shall stay the springs of the stream again, that they may go through Therefore, sawest the thou multitude with peace, right? So basically, sum now all, all that up. Your people went to went, went from this land all the way to America. It took a year and a half to get there. All right, that's how your people got to America. All right, your people just didn't end up in America from nowhere. All right, so um, give me Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen. Listen to this, bro. Uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen. All right, Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen. Listen to this. Uh, Listen to this. I know you looking like you gotta go. <laughs> Listen, give, give me two or three more scriptures. All right. Two, right. two, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 right. it says, But it shall come to pass right. if, It says if thou will not hearken Unto the voice of the Lord thy God Right so it's going to come to pass Our people if we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord our God Right can you read To observe to do all his commandments If we didn't do and keep his commandments that was meant for us Because we're his people Right can you read And his statutes and his, his, his statutes right can you read Which I commanded thee this day Right that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so all these curses came upon God's chosen people because they didn't listen to the law of statutes command. And these curses came upon your people. How's your, how's your, how's your community? How, how, how's the so-called Mexican community? Ghetto. Ghetto, right? What's the reason for that? Get to the Romans 28, 46. Let's see this. We're going to show you the reason for all the things your people go through as a people. It's all biblical. But your, your pastor's not gonna tell you this in the church. They don't want you to know who you are. They gonna tell you God loves everyone, God's love, and you know, shut the Bible. Let's dance around, play a couple songs. That's what they're gonna tell you. All so right. You're saying we go to church for no reason. Yeah, church. The, you read Acts the seventh chapter. The church is not in scripture. You can't go to a temple in a building to serve the Lord. You gotta serve Him in truth and sincerity, and keeping His commandments. So you gotta learn His commandments. Do you know the Lord's commandments? No. It's more than ten of them too. It's 613 commandments from the Lord. 
<laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, we gonna get to that. I'm All gonna bring right. out two or three more scriptures. I'm gonna ask you a question too with that. All go right. Ahead. This is Deuteronomy 28. Two or three more scriptures. I know y'all gotta go. And 46. It says, And they shall be upon thy seed. I mean, upon thee for a sign. So and, this shall be upon us for a sign. These curses that our people are gonna go through. All right, can you read? And upon thy seed forever. Forever. So these, you didn't read that, right? That should be a wonder. You skipped that. Oh, oh. Right, read right. it from the top. I'll, I'll start all over. It says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and, right. and for a wonder right. and upon thy seed forever. Right, so these curses are going to be upon our seed forever. All right, you're going to know who the real biblical Israelites are once you hear these curses of what happened to a specific people. All right, so listen, this, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse, um, well, I'm on, um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37. All right, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. So a proverb in the byword is another name that's not that was not given unto you. You weren't given Mex your people weren't called Mexicans. Our people weren't called African Americans, Afro Americans. We were known that we're the Israelites of the Bible. Alright? But the curses have came upon us from God and that's why we're in the situation we are. You do Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and forty six. And that's why we have racism. Right, forty eight. Right. Well look, look, God is racist. Did you know that? God is racist. Listen, get, drop that, get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Listen to this. What's racism? Let me ask you a question. What's racism? I wouldn't say skin color. I would say nation. Right. Saying you're better than other people, right, based on your nation. But saying, um, you know, uh, you're you're over them or you're always going to be better than them. That's that's racism, right? This so, is what God's saying, right? This is what God says about his people. All right. Listen to this. All right. For thou art in holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. Holy, what does holy mean? I don't know, like, holy means separate or set apart. All right. So the Israelites of the Bible does. Yeah, yeah. You know, you probably think it means good or you know a great great person or no. That's not what the Bible says. It's a set apart, separate people. All right. You're a separate people from the to the by the Lord. So right. Holy water. That means water that's separate. That's nonsense too. Man. Yeah, that is that's, that's nonsense. Holy water is nonsense. What is you get in the bathtub every day? What is water gonna do to you? <laughs> it's nonsense, man. Bring it out. Keep reading. It says the Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people. So you're a special people. These people are a special people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not all blacks, but the Af so called African Americans. Right, Kiri? He said we're his people, so what people are not his people? I'm finna show you. Read. Alright. Unto himself. Unto himself. This He's is a special. We're, look, we're a special, he's a special people unto himself, right? Like he took, he, out of all the people, he took this people and put it next to him. These are his people, right, Can you read? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God said himself that he has a special people unto himself that are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that's what the Lord said. This so is, this is, is that racism? Six and seven. That's racism. That's pretty racist. I, I got, I'm only dealing with this one people. And everyone else, you know, I'm not dealing with you. Who's everyone else? We we'll get it. Second Ezra. Uh, actually, I got it. Oh, Second yeah. Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-four. Listen to this. This is Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-four. All right. Listen to this, brother. Second Ezra chapter six, and verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Right. So everyone comes from Adam. You heard the story, right? Everyone comes from Adam, right? Of him come we all. Now listen to this. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Give me Exodus 19 and 6. All right. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. He made the whole world for the true biblical Israelites, the chosen sake. Right? You listen to this. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, as of everyone else, that's not on this sign, that's not the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? That are categorized at them. It's more than just black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, but but that's the name that covers it all, right? You can read these signs in all the nations of people that are biblical Israelites, all right? As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. So if you're not of these people, the Lord says you're nothing. You're like spit to them. That's what spittle means. You're like spit. All right. Let's say this. All right. This isn't, a, this isn't a God you hear about in the church. You hear the God about love and God loves everyone and loves everything. Everybody on ponies. Yeah, that's not yeah. what the scripture's about. 
All right, listen to this. Um, and as like in the abundance of them unto a drop that followed from a vessel, right? So a drop that followed from a vessel. Vessel. If you had a whole bucket of water, right, and you lose like a, a, a drop of that water, right, it just fell out. Are you really gonna care about that water? No. That's how. That's how the Lord cares about these other nations. That's the, that's how He likens these other nations because you're a holy and separate people. You're the people that the Bible speaks of. All right. But you got to come back to these folk, come back to your fold in the last days because all these other religions is vanity. All right. The religion, religion isn't in the Bible. Christianity isn't in the Bible. All right. It's about one people, the Israelites. It's not Christ. You find the word Christianity in the Bible. I give you a million dollars if you can find it. <laughs> you can't find it. <laughs> it won't be in there. All right. The Israelites were first called Christians in Antioch in Acts, I believe, the latter chapter. Christians is a, was a term in the New Testament used once or twice. So, you know, that's not who this Bible is for everyone. It's always been for the Israelites. Give me Psalms 147 and 19. What? Well, bring that out first. They said Exodus 19 and uh. Alright, alright. Well, two more scriptures. You don't gotta. I gotta explain the point I made. Then I'm done. I promise. 19 and 6. Exodus 19 and 6. I'm done. This is this. And ye shall be upon me a kingdom of princes and. Priests. I mean, priests. Right. And a holy nation. And a holy nation. We're a holy nation, right, Kiri? Says so these are the words which I thou shall speak unto the children of Israel. Right. So look, we're we're a nation, a kingdom of priests. All right. And a holy nation, a separate nation. All right. So um, look, you gotta come back to the fold, brother. You gotta keep get Psalms 147 and 19. The laws in this Bible was only written to your people. The commandments you know you hear about. They were only given to one people. Moses didn't get the. You're familiar, familiar with Moses part in the Red Sea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So Moses, when he gave the laws, he didn't give the laws to everyone. He gave it to his people. He saved his people. Right? You're those people. Your fathers go back to the biblical Israelites. The Jewish man, they're not the real Jews. They don't they don't meet the prophecies in this Bible. All right? The Jew, it, look, just like if I was to call you childish, what does that mean? You act like a child, right? So, what does Jewish mean? You acting like a Jew, right? Yeah. Right? They're acting like Jews. They're not the real biblical Jews. Wait, I can't act like a Jew. They, exactly. They act like Jews because they don't meet the curses in this Bible. They didn't go in in slavery. They didn't go in. Your people, came, they didn't come over to America first. They don't meet the prophecies in this Bible of who God's chosen people really is. So, is that our Jews to other people that are spent to them? No, the, yeah, the Jewish men, they're not Israelites. The true, the true Israelites are not the people you think they are or know as Jews. Like us, we are the true Israelites. We're the true Jews. All right, yeah, Jewish is not a, it's not a, Jew is not a, 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 a religion. You're born a Jew. That's why it's called Jewish. It's not true. So is that your point? Like, I don't get it. The point is that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites of the Bible. The, the Jewish men and women. They're not the real Jews. They're not the biblical Jews. Christ, he didn't look like this. All right? You've seen this picture of Christ? Y'all think this is what Christ looked like your whole life, haven't you? Yeah. It's, yeah, right? What does the Bible say he looks like? We'll end off with that. This will be the last scripture. Get Revelation 1 and 14. This will be the last one. Yeah, All right? Revelation 1 and 14. I'm going to show you what the Christ of the Bible looks like. He doesn't look, this way you see devil horns on this? What does devil mean? Devil? Yeah. I can see what you're saying, but devil, the actual word means deceiver, all right, or liar, or deceiver. So this is a deceiving image of Christ. Ever since you've grown up, this is what you see. Ever since you've grown up, this is what you see, right? You watch a movie, what does Christ look like? You you Google Jesus Christ, what is going to show up? This right here. What is the boy Jay. We are Revelation 1 and 14. We're going to show right. you what Christ looks like according to the Bible. All right. right. This is uh, Revelations 1. 14. Yeah, bring it up. The revelations of Jesus. Right? The Jesus Christ. Right, so the revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelations mean revealing. Alright, so this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. And this is the point I want you to get show you what Christ really looked like according to the Bible. The Revelation 1 and 14. Alright. Revelations 1 and 14. Right? It says his hair. I mean it was locking. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his hair was white and wooly. Y'all ever seen a sheep before? Alright, so is that wooly hair? No, is that white hair? Oh, so that's two strikes already. Can read? As white as snow. It was as white as snow, not brown and black and looking like John Travolta. That's not in the scriptures, right? Can you read? 
It says, and his eyes were a were as a flame of fire. Right, because Christ drank wine. All right, he didn't get drunk of the wine, but Christ drank wine, and that makes your eyes red. Right, Kiri. It says, and his feet like a to fine brass. His feet was like fine brass. Right, what color is fine brass? Your feet is the same color as your whole body, right? Right. right so his feet was like fine brass. Right. So what color is fine brass? Y'all ever had an instrument or something like that, like a like brass instrument? Okay, so yeah, like a brownish gold, right? Bring it up. There you go. As if they burn in a furnace. So you take that brownish. Uh, like the top of the Bible, how it's like kind of goldish. Like no, 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 no. His feet, the feet, the uh, Christ's feet were like brass, like brass. You've seen brass before? Yeah. Like a like an instrument. You ever seen like a uh, like a trumpet or something? Oh yeah. Like, you see like it's like a brownish gold color. Yeah, yeah. Those that's the color his feet were. But it says read that again that part. Like, As if they burn in a furnace. So you take that brownish gold and then burn it in a furnace. All right. If you burn anything, what color is it gonna be? Black. Right. So Christ's feet was black. Right. Black. So that <laughs> right. So that's from the tribe of Judah. He came from the tribe of Judah. So who is this man? Who is this corporate? All right. Satan. <laughs> he's the he's the devil one of the devils that the Bible speaks of. Did you know that? The devil his name's Caesar Borgias. Alright, you can look him up. He's an actual son of I believe Pope the Sixth or something like that. And they put him up to be to uh you know be a picture of Christ. But he Christ looked nothing like this. I was um, to say something. How come this is in Moscow, Russia? Right. This is this picture right here is in Russia. Right here? That, that's in Moscow, Russia. That's in Russia Those around, the, what's the, the 16th disciples. century, 15th yeah, century? That's the disciples. And this is America. This is what America portrays Christ as. But even Russia, when you got predominantly white people in Russia, right? Yeah. And this is what they know Christ looked like. Why would they, why, but who who had the balls, in the, give me Job 9 and 24, who had the balls enough to change the way Christ looked? America. Oh. Who, and who's the people? Who is this people right here? <laughs> the so-called white man, right? Uh, this is a, yeah. I mean, it's a good job, not a twenty four. It's the last scripture. I'm done. Yeah, we're, we're last scripture. Last you, you, this is literally the last scripture. Listen to this. Job nine and twenty four. Right. All right, Job nine and twenty four. Right. It says the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. Right. So you said yourself, your people is horrible. Your people live in the hood. Our people live in the slums, the slumps. All right, the Lord says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, what people demographically uh, are more successful in the society? What people Wait. have, exactly. All right, Kiri. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And, and this is how you know, they covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who covered the faces of the judges thereof? These are the judges, the apostles, Christ. They covered the faces that made it so-called white men. It's not biblical. You watch, you watch a movie about Christ, it's going to look like this, I promise you. You never watch a movie and Christ look like that, I promise you. They wouldn't even make it, they wouldn't even invest in it. <laughs> Morgan Freeman was a god. You said what? Morgan Freeman was a god. There's, there's there's a movie. Movie. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I believe, I, yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's, not, that's, that's not so true, but yeah, but the biblical people of, of the Bible are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What's that, uh, what's that verse? Describe God. Revelation. Well, that's Christ. Christ and God are two different people. Or two different entities. Um, it's Revelations 1 and 14. All right, well, for the All right man. All right. All right. What's your nationality again? Eagle lights. Israelite. Israelite. <laughs> brother said eagle lights. You're <laughs> <laughs> Israelite. Shalom, brother. That's how we say peace. You said what? It's the King James Version. King James Version. All right. All right, tell the one, brother. Peace. Right, we, got, we went. We went to the tribe. You know, waking up a little bit. You know.